Hi, I'm Angie Pollock, Big Walnut Local School Superintendent, and I'm here today to share with you our second annual quality profile, which is a companion tool to our district report card. I will be joined by a few of our district administrators today to walk you through the pages of this important document. You can access a copy of the quality profile on our website at bwls.net. You can also pick up a hard copy of our quality profile at any of our district offices or at our central office at 110 Tippett Court in Sunbury. Hi, I'm Mark Cooper, Assistant Superintendent for Big Walnut Schools. Over the last few years, we have been working through the growing facility needs in our district as we have several aging buildings. As noted in our 2017 quality profile, the average age of our current school buildings is 41 years old. As you can imagine, many of the original mechanical and structural parts such as boilers, HVAC systems, roofs, and floors have reached or surpassed their age limits. As a result, our reality at Big Walnut at this time are parts that are inefficient and costly to operate and maintain. We have noticed some of these increasing costs in our annual utility expenses. While we have made a few recent improvements with money typically used to run day-to-day -day operations, we simply do not have the funds available to make the large number of necessary repairs across our district, such as more secure entrances at our five oldest buildings, electrical and technological updates, and roofing repairs. Hello, I'm Jeremy Buskirk, treasurer of Big Walnut Local Schools. First, let's take a look at the school district property tax millage comparison chart. This graph takes a look at Big Walnut and a grouping of nine other districts in our county and conference. And it compares the millage rates for the major local income sources of property tax and income tax. When we take into account our total effective residential and agricultural real estate millage and the millage equivalent for the school district income tax, we can see that Big Walnut has the second lowest tax rate just above Buckeye Valley. Big Walnut provides an excellent education at a reasonable rate to our community. Next, we can see a summary of the resources available to our district and how they are used. Looking at our revenue from our five-year forecast, we can see that our revenues can be put into five categories. Two of them are state foundation and property tax allocations for homestead and rollback exemption programs. Both of these are payments from the state of Ohio. The last three are property taxes, income taxes, and all other. These are all local sources of funding, with 75% of our revenues being provided at the local level. We greatly appreciate and rely on the support of our community. Next, taking a look at our expenditures. As a service industry, about 80% of our funds are used to pay wages and benefits for personnel. Of the remaining expenditures, many of these are purchase services and supplies for fixed operating costs or specialized services, like utilities, fuel, required inspections and maintenance, or services that support student achievement. Also, as we have experienced student growth, purchasing module units, additional student furniture, and buses are expenditures that are accounted for in the remaining 20%. The last piece of information we want to take a look at is information that's on the 2016 Ohio report card. Each year we provide ODE with accounting and staff information which they compile in order to provide a basis for comparing Ohio districts on the state report card. We've provided a few of these comparison points. The expenditure per equivalent pupil or per pupil cost provides an estimated average cost to educate a student. It is important to note that two-thirds of this amount is spent to directly impact classroom instruction. Hi, I'm Jen Young and I'm the Director of Academic Achievement for Big Walnut. I oversee all of the teaching and learning for the district. Over the past five years, the state of Ohio has been changing the local report cards that it provides to communities on their public schools. With three different tests and constantly changing targets, report card scores have been inconsistent for most districts in Ohio. Despite the challenges with report cards, we are proud that we have improved in over half of the measures this year. Also, when calculated on a traditional 4.0 scale, Big Walnut has the highest grade point average in Delaware County and one of the highest in Central Ohio. 
Given the constant changes, we have focused more on other measures and used the data from the state test as what it is, simply one test that reflects student performance on one day. We are focused on preparing our students for life after high school. Last year, our students earned more than 1,000 college credit hours for our College Credit Plus program. This program offers a fantastic opportunity for our students to receive free college tuition while they're earning high school credit at the same time. There are, however, costs that the district incurs in order to offer College Credit Plus to our students. At the bottom of page 5, you'll notice our one-to-one -one Chromebook initiative mentioned. Each student in grades 5 through 12 is issued a Chromebook for their use. Preparing our students for life after high school means preparing them to be successful in a technologically advancing world. While the Chromebooks do come at a cost to the district, the cost is offset by the reduction of textbook and workbook costs that are being replaced with digital tools. We believe in continued professional growth for our staff and we're committed to staying on top of the most current research in education. Our staff spends many hours attending learning sessions, visiting other schools and classrooms, and learning from experts in the field. Here at Big Walnut, we really value parent and community involvement. On page six of our quality profile, you can see just a few examples of the many ways that we involve our community in our school district. We are exceptionally proud of our Big Walnut High School print shop, which is a project-based experience where students run an actual business. Check out their website to order products from them. We have different committees that serve the district in various capacities from our facilities committee, which help to advise our current ballot issue, to our academic advisory committee, whose members offer feedback on different curricular issues in the district, and even on this quality profile. Finally, as you can see there on page six, um, I try to make it a priority as a superintendent to get out and talk with community members and get input and share information as much as possible. One of the ways that I do this is through coffee chats. If you're interested in hosting a coffee chat, you can see information there, but basically you just need to contact our office and we would be happy to schedule that for you. The coffee chat can be to discuss our ballot issue or anything else that you're interested in. On page seven, you'll see our 2020 vision infographic. We are in the third year of our 2020 vision for academics. This vision focuses on three cornerstones, personalized instruction, engage students, and grow minds. We know that we live in a rapidly changing society and that education needs to look different than it did 20 and even 10 years ago. Today's employers are looking for people that can collaborate, think critically, show creativity, and communicate. And we're changing education for our students so that they are ready to meet that challenge. Hopefully you found this quick overview of our quality profile to be beneficial. Again, I would encourage you to check out the full quality profile on our website. And please let us know if you have any feedback or additional information that you'd like to learn about our district. Thank you so much for your support.